Today, I wanted to make a nice quick tutorial showing you how to install, manage, and remove add-ons from your Fusion workspace. I'm doing this for the Mac operating system since that's my primary operating system for a lot of my designing right now, but comment below if you'd like to see something in the future for Windows users as well. So to jump right into it, I'm gonna go ahead and start with how we will install an add-on into Fusion. And the easiest way to do that is actually going directly to the Fusion App Store from Fusion itself. So to do that, go to Utilities, Add ins drop down and then click on fusion app store and when this pops up you're able to search for the different add-on that you want which for me i'm actually going to be doing the sketch helper so that has the sketch helper pops up you just select it in here you just make sure you have the right operating system which again we're doing this for mac today so i just want to make sure that i have mac selected and from here you just go ahead and click download and it'll just start downloading into your downloads folder up here I've said this a couple times and I'll say it again. Sometimes if you haven't logged into the app store in a while, you just need to put in your username, which is your email and your password that you use to log into the Fusion software itself. It'll put you back on this page. You then click download again and you'll be able to go ahead and get the package installer. So once that's done downloading, I'll go ahead and open up my downloads folder. And in here, I'll just double click on the package installer. And then once you're here, you'll just go ahead and read through and accept any terms that you feel comfortable accepting to go ahead and proceed with the installation. And there we have it. Once it's done, you'll go ahead and close out. You can move your installer to the trash because you don't need it anymore. And now we're good to go ahead and hop into the software. Now, important note before I get too far ahead of myself, if you still have Fusion open, you can see right now I don't have the Hestus Sketch Helper on my toolbar. What you'll have to do is close out of the software and then restart it and it should appear for you in your toolbar. So go ahead and exit. And once you restart it, there you have it. I have the Hestus Sketch Helper installed here on my toolbar. Sometimes add-ons don't just attach themselves to the toolbar right away. So you can always just hit the S hotkey and search for the specific application that you're looking for. Or if you want a sanity check it, you can also go to your utilities, add-ins drop down, scripts and add-ins. And then for me, I can down select my add-ins and see that sketch helper is in fact installed and it tells me what version I have. So that's great. So once you've actually installed the add-on that you want for Fusion, you can do some management for the different types of add-ons that you have inside of your software as well. To do that, you'll actually go back up to your utilities, go to your add-ins drop down, and then go to your scripts and add-ins. So once you're in this menu, it's got a lot going on, but there's several things that you can actually look at to filter down what you're looking for. So you can filter by scripts, you can filter by add-ins. And what's really cool here is inside of just add-ins only, you can see what things are actually running right now, what things actually run when you start up the software. And probably my favorite part of this is you can see what version of an add-on you have, because sometimes you'll be running one that's outdated and you can come in here really quickly to see if what you are running is maybe a little bit behind or it's up to snuff with what kind of version you want to have installed in your software as well. So something really cool about this is if you have an add-on that you don't want to be running, you can simply come in here and click the toggle to go ahead and deactivate it. That way it's not running inside of your software if maybe it's bogging down some of the compute or maybe you're just not using it anymore and you don't want it to turn on either when you start up or while you're operating in the software. These are the simple controls that you can use to easily manipulate that. Another thing that is kind of nice is if you're looking at some of the names of these different add-ons and you're not 100% sure what it is or what it does, you can actually click on one. And over here on the right, it'll give you a little bit more information and give you a link to the app store to see where you can download it from, get a description. It'll also tell you the file path where the folder location is actually stored at, which is super helpful for being able to delete or just find the contents of the package that you had installed originally. That way you can either delete it and or manipulate some of the files that are accompanying with that file extension as well. Well, if you've made it this far in my video, I can tell that you're the kind of person that wants to find the right lessons to click with concepts you may have struggled with before, which is exactly where today's sponsor, Brilliant, can help you achieve what you didn't think possible. Brilliant helps you excel in math and computer science with visual, interactive problem solving and personalized practice to help you level up on the topics you are looking to grow with. Brilliant personalizes learning for you. It starts you at the right level based on your background, designs practice sets and reviews personalized for you, and helps you advance at your ideal pace. Brilliant is crafted by an award-winning team of teachers, researchers, and professionals from MIT, Harvard, Stanford, Caltech, 
Google, and many more. I recently jumped into Brilliant Science courses to refresh myself on applications of digital circuitry to not only stay on top of personal projects I work on at home, but also stay relevant with important concepts I run into in my everyday job as an engineer. To learn for free on Brilliant for a full 30 days, go to brilliant.org slash tiewritings, scan the QR code on screen, or click on the link in the description. Brilliant's also giving my viewers 20% off an annual premium subscription, which gives you unlimited daily access to everything on Brilliant. And now let's jump back into add-ons for Fusion. Now, another question that I've been asked before is how do you actually remove or delete an add-on from the Fusion software itself? The easiest way I find is just going directly to the file location where the bundle is actually stored and deleting it from there and then restarting Fusion, which for this example, I'll just use our Hestis sketch helper since I actually want to move up to a new version anyway, just to show you how you can do that. So looking at it right now, you can see it's fully installed. And what I want to do is go ahead and close out of Fusion completely. Now that I'm closed out, I'm actually going to bring up my search using command and the space bar. And then once I'm here, I'm gonna type in this file path and I'll also have this in my video description. That way you can jump there yourself on your own Mac. So library, app, location, support. And it shows the folder where this is located. I'm actually gonna click on that. Once you're in here, you'll wanna to navigate to the software that you're trying to modify, which for us is gonna be Autodesk. And then once you're in here, you're gonna to go to your application plugins. And right here, you can see I have my sketch helper bundle, and that is the one that I wanna get rid of. So I'm gonna select it, right click, move to trash, and now it's done. I exit out of this and what I can now do is restart Fusion. And now you can see when I start back up, I no longer have the sketch helper icon up here in my toolbar, which is telling me that I actually successfully got rid of the add-on. I can also double check by going to my utilities, my add-ins, scripts and add-ins, and I can see now that the sketch helper no longer exists, which is great. It's super easy. It's just a matter of finding the right file locations, deleting it, and then making sure you restart Fusion. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you got some value out of that. I tried to keep it as short as possible to give you the information you need to be able to manage add-ons in and out of Fusion to help boost your workflow and hopefully give you some more options for extensions and different tools and features that you can find from third-party apps that are really nice to have for some of the different stuff that you may be doing for your personal projects as well. If you're looking for some more Fusion topics, I'll float a couple videos up here on the screen. But for now, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.